Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy, and we are back here on um, Horizons 2 Daybreaker. Um, I did run out of some uh, energy when I was running all my stuff at one time. So I'm going to probably hook me up a bio generator right here. Just for emergencies, I can pop in for some little extra power in case my wind turbine is not cutting it. Um, I did get me an Elite Crusher. I will probably be upgrading all my machines to Elite because it's really, really easy and cheap to do. <laughs> right now, and I've I had it set up to where it was input and output because I needed a lot of the gravel. But um, uh, for some reason, the input didn't work the second time around when I made it Elite for some reason. So I don't know about that. Um, I today we're going to do some building. We're going to build uh, a road here, all the way across, and then up there we're going to start on our building when we call and call it an episode as I'm building the actual building up there. And then on the next episode I will have my windmills set up up top there and also all four of my solar uh, generators. I think I have to do a little bit more mining for that one. So uh, first of all, let's uh, grab some of our supplies for today. Uh, I'm going to get about three stacks of each one of these. Now, if you don't know what these are, these are gravel roads, and if I press R here, it, uh, well, R, you make them by using stone brick slabs in all four corners, and then a plus sign with the gravel brick. The gravel brick is made by just doing a two by two with gravel, and these actually will let you move faster. So, uh, let's move that out of the way for now. I'm gonna do bricks here, and then my gravel road. Stop it. So I want to start by actually placing all of my stone bricks down. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do both sides with the stone brick. And uh, then we're going to do gravel right in the middle. And uh, that way not only will that look really really good, it will also uh, allow me to show you the difference in walking on the the regular blocks and walking on the road. Um, this might be a little bit boring episode for you guys because it's mostly going to be me building, but uh, some people like the building episodes. So, and uh, I think I need to do some exploring pretty soon. So uh, we might do a couple episodes pretty soon where I go do some exploring. And uh, that way that'll give me some time off camera to plan out some of my buildings. Because I don't want to build everything on camera. But there are a couple of key buildings that I do want to build on camera. Like the barracks. Or I don't want to call them a barracks because that implies that it's for military units. And it's not going to be for military units. So um, right here is going to be steps down I believe. So... I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump onto this guy and we'll do the whole back blocks. And uh, I think I'm going to do wooden stairs just because you can't make stairs out of the road for some reason. And I could do I could do half slabs maybe. I'll check that when we get back to camp. Also we need to keep an eye on the time because I definitely don't want to be night out here. And if you guys didn't notice off camera I did flatten out this whole area just so we could build this road and I've got it lined up for our uh, bridges over our two rivers so uh, it should line up just perfectly with that and I did I went ahead and shifted that one bridge over two blocks just because it just didn't look right to be offset like that not with the road we have to line up the road too with that it, it was easier just to go ahead and uh, line it up. So, that's how we're going to do that. And then, this one in here. Like this. All the way out. And I will grab some uh, stairs and put the stairs up. I'll probably do it off camera unless I have some stairs. Let me check as soon as we get this all this road out. I don't know if you can tell, but I, it's definitely going a little bit faster, even shifted. 
So that's pretty cool. Um, we 1.9 was released today, so I'll probably be playing a lot on 1.9. We are going to be doing a new series on 1.9, and we're going to do a little uh, tips and tricks guide, going over all the changes and stuff. And uh, as I'm playing with it, I'll I'll have some uh, stuff to actually contribute on on the, on the tips and tricks side of it. But I uh, definitely want to go over most of the changes so you guys know what you look what to look forward to. Um, it won't change this actual playthrough any. So, a couple of my other playthroughs might uh, be handled a little bit different, maybe. I'm going to do this and this, and then this and this. But instead of the wood there, we're going to go ahead and put the road there. There we go. And we are probably going to put stairs I do not have any stairs on me I'm gonna go ahead and do this part too because I think I have enough for all of this now I might be doing this a little bit on the slower side I could probably definitely do it faster if I uh, alternated doing like all three across like that okay so we do need to get out a couple more stacks of that and we might as well get a couple more stacks of the road just in case it's not enough for this it does look like it's getting a little bit dark so I'll check the uh, time as soon as we get this side placed and see if we need to run up to the top here and uh, sleep in the bed I need to make a... I wonder if the bed rolls in this one. I think I checked and it wasn't if it's not I need to start carrying a bed on me although I hate I hate to do that because I don't want it to actually um, reset my thing. Oh, we were going to check the time. Yeah. I think I got enough time to actually finish this. Uh, I do have a video going up today of the combat changes in reference to the attack speed and the new shield and a couple of the cool stuff, um, the tool stuff you can do with tools, uh, some off-handed stuff, taking a look at that kind of stuff. <sighs> that fell off. Here we go. So, uh, hopefully you guys can take a look at that. Also, uh, I posted a. I'll be posting a link in the description for the actual changes too. So, is it night? I bet it's night. I hear zombies. No, it's not. I didn't say it's night yet. Actually, I need to move over just a slither. So I think I was on that stone brick instead of the actual road. Come on. This will be the setup for all the roads linking all of my buildings together. I'm going to do the road and then the brick on the side. So, that should look pretty good. There we go. And then here, I definitely want to do the whole brick here. Come on, back up. Why are you being such a butthole? Let's go up here. Because it is dark now. <laughs> it's like it's lagging a little bit. It only does it on this. Like I, I recorded my episode on 1.9 and it was, it was wonderful. It's like no lag or anything. It's pretty good. I'm sure people will have problems with it though. They usually do. Um, it's mostly because they don't know what, how to uh, do the settings. Um, so I don't want to talk too much about 1.9 on this one though. So I'm going to look at the mods, uh, probably off camera, and uh, see which ones we want to get into next. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that there because that is going to be... Exactly how I want it. Oh, this looks so much better. I'm gonna do the full view of this before we go over there and build the actual um, building that we're doing. It's gonna be the uh, power station, like that. Now, you guys, tell me, should I actually move this wood here and use the stone road? the gravel road um, I don't think it looks that great coming to this so we might switch that wood out off camera to the road but anyway let me show you this right here real quick um, and if I go off of it you can tell yeah so it's gonna be it's gonna be just a little bit faster getting over here just taking that yeah I definitely definitely probably want to switch these out for the for the uh, gravel road and uh, when you run on this, that's more. And look at that. Doesn't that look a whole lot better? Um, and I want to do torches up. I'm probably going to do something else. Go ahead and do like that. Two, three, four, five. Go ahead and put. And I, I I did do that bottom one wrong. Let me let's go fix that bottom one because I put the bottom one on the actual block there. And then I, I should have done that right there. And I did these that way too. So let's switch let's switch them over to the hole on the side thing. There we go. That's better. Okay, now for the building over here, I want to do the bottom layer, the bottom two layers in brick. And then I want to do the rest of the layers up with the, um, this one. And the windows, I actually want to use the fence here for the windows, because I thought that would be cool. And I'm going to need some more of the brick. I made plenty. I got the brick road. I could use the brick road. And if I'm switching the gravel out anyway, yeah, yeah, let's do that. So let's put this on here. And we'll use the brick road to go up with. Or I could put the brick road on. Hello, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Don't worry about it. It's going to be awesome. So let's. Should we put wood on the side? No, no. Let's do the whole. All brick. There we go. If you did miss it, we are doing, uh, I think it's six high in here. So we know we have enough room for everything we want to put in here. I'm going to go ahead and just make this all the way across and then I'll put the doorway in when we get down. So there we go. And now... Um, I think what I want to do is leave the corners brick like that and then do the middle part as the whole uh, hard, hard wall. Now I did go over this in previous videos, you can look this up. Uh, it's really really cheap to make the hard wall and you get a lot of, uh, of materials from it for the little amount of materials you put into it. So it's a good uh, one to use for building buildings, especially in the whole Daybreaker mod pack. We got we got lots of power over here, so we shouldn't have to worry about power over here. And it's going to be a lot more once I get everything hooked up. Here we go. Now we'll need to adjust the doorway to have the brick all the way around it. There we go. I want it to be six high, so six is going to be our ceiling. So we need to go up one more.
like this. Yeah, it should look. We'll see how it looks in the and after uh, we get everything done. Um. Also, uh, the inside. I never really decided what to do with the inside floor. We might do the stone. We will do. I don't know. Would the road look good on the inside of the buildings? It's a lot of. Uh, it's a lot of effort to do the uh, gravel brick, so I don't know about that. I might just do wooden floors. Wooden floors would probably be the best bet. And uh, I'm probably going to do half slabs around. How many half slabs do I have? I don't know. For now, I'm just going to put this in here and then we'll just take out the side. I want to put half slabs on the sides here. All the way around. Um, and then definitely want the stone brick on top. Like this. Get this up here. Now, I'm not going to move uh, anything up here. Right now, and I am going to make this flat because we are we are putting our uh, solar generators on here. And I was going to put one on every corner, but if we need more power, I might need to put some in the middle there. So, uh, and we can definitely also put some bio generators on the inside here to help out in case we need an extra power boost, kind of like a generator. So. I think what our best bet is to go to the middle here and run a pillar across and then I'll do like I usually do in my uh, skyblock series is um, I am going to go back to uh, infinity evolved but I kinda want to do the uh, skyblock thing so I need to decide whether I'm going to do Wow. I took a lot of materials up. I think I'm actually going to use just about all of my bricks. So it's a good thing I wasn't going to do the floors in brick. I think I'm going to do spruce as the floors. Uh, I can't remember if chisel's in this. I'll check see if chisel is in this. We can uh, change the flooring to a chisel brick if chisel is in this. Let's look at that real quick. Looks like it is. It's a carpenter's chisel. Yeah, it looks like it is. Oh, and they got the special torches too. I forgot about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what the obsidian one does. Target a block while leaving it in your inventory. It has multiple modes of chiseling. Hmm, I have to try that one. How do you make that? Dude, that's like super easy. I probably want the diamond one for, for now though. Anyway, I'll do, the, I'll do the floors off camera. Drop down here. We do want to get the doorway in here. So, one, two, three. So the door should be right here. So what I need to do is take this one out and take this one out and then take these two out here and I just switch those out with uh, bricks there we go and that makes it look like a pretty good doorway and we'll do our usual I like to do the corners here. I have no idea why I do this instead of the other way. And it's only temporary till I get some lighting in here. Actually, I think I'm just going to put one like that. And I'll probably need to put one in the middle on each side here. There we go. Yeah, you need to go over one. There we go. 
This should be lit up enough to where nothing will spawn on the inside. It is getting dark. And I think that's going to pretty much do it today. Um, we can look at the generator to see if we can actually hook that one of those up today. Uh, let's see here. Uh, nope, stop that. Bio. This is the generator we need. And that is super cheap, so yes, we can totally do that right now. Let's go do that one as we're ending the episode. Now, why is it lagging all of a sudden? And of course, I'll change these out off camera. I got plenty of road for right now. Oh, that's so much faster. Oh, I did have some. What I was thinking of doing is like this. And then I think I have some half slabs in here. Yeah. And then I'll check to see if we can do half slab roads. For now, that will make it to where I can actually get up here. Yeah. And if I can do half slab roads, fine. If not, I'll leave it as that. So, let's grab some iron. And I need some of these. I'm going to put some of these brick stuff back into my inventory here. Let me get out a few of these just so I can try that. Uh, do these make half slabs? No, they do not. Uh, there's there's a couple other options I can check. I'll check those later. Um, we do need some redstone. I don't believe I have anything. I've got one. It's not going to be enough. Here we go. Looks like I'm almost out of redstone. I'm going to have to go mining. I have to do some strip mining. I know I said I wasn't going to do that, but I think I need to. I'm going to need a lot of materials. It's going to be a lot longer if I have to go mining for them all, especially since most of the caves here doesn't lead to hardly anywhere. I did not grab any iron. Is there something here? Tin, copper, no. Uh, we're going to go on iron too, I believe. Zinc. Yeah. There we go. And I'm going to need some... Of these. So. We should be able to just click on this and then do this. Oh, I need the bio. Hold on. Um, I planned on this. I'm, what I'm going to do is say I got the crusher now. Let's see if I can, this can get this to work. No. I don't know what the setting is I got wrong on that one. But uh, I'm going to use these saplings for now because I have a whole crap load of these saplings. And that should give us a crap ton of biodiesel. So, yeah. <laughs> I ran completely out of power. Even my uh, setup over there was out of power. That's how much uh, power I used. Yeah. So, come on. Yeah. That should be plenty for now. Just as a proof of concept. I can make three. Do I need three? I'll go ahead and make two more, and I'll put them in here, and we'll set those up in the actual generator room. I'm going to put you here now. 
and uh, all you do is you put the uh, biodiesel in here and it feeds into this thing and produces power for you now output is 700 uh, jolts per tick and as you can see this one outputs 960 so it's uh, a little bit worse than the whole uh, wind generator but this will run even off even when there's no wind so this will be like our backup generator so and we just leave that full and then as you can see our farm is going to give us plenty of biofuel so and we did I did set up a farm up there for uh, let's let's show you that and then we'll call it an episode because I forgot to show you guys that and something is running on my computer <laughs> <laughs> it's causing me some lag. Yeah. I might need to set up some uh, enchanting pretty soon too because uh, I'm looking. It's getting hot in here. Um, I got so many levels. I need to use them. That's basically it. And it looks like our cows came down the stairs there. We did have them up upstairs. Oh, this looks so much better. You guys tell me how you like it so far. Uh, is there something I can change? Anything like that? Uh, as you can see, we do have some uh, chickens up here. Get out of here. Ten, ten wood so far. I got this in here to uh, run on this until we get our power hooked up. Got some extra saplings in here, so uh, and we should get some big ones out of this too. Let me get rid of this side bit right here. So that's why I put it where it was two out on each side. I, I think I need another row of upgrades, but uh, it is the iron, same as the other one. Anyway, guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You can come check it out and see if you like it. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them how much you liked it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. And I'm going to put these torches on this, and then I'll see you guys on the next episode.